<clears throat> so, got a new knife today. Uh, pretty excited about it. Been waiting a while. It was in, it was out of stock on uh, Blade HQ a few times, but uh, got it. Came in today. Went on Knife Center. Got it. It is the Kaiser Pinkerton Rogue. Uh, really cool little knife. Titanium frame lock. I haven't seen any reviews on this knife yet, so I figured I'd, I'd uh, let you guys know my first impressions because this is the first Kaiser knife that I've ever bought. And uh, I've heard I've heard good and bad. Um, uh, it's kind of a crapshoot, you know. Like people say, some Chinese knives are really high quality, some aren't. It just depends on what you get and uh, the the quality control. But uh, here it is. Um, it's hard to tell. It's got like a weird sat kind of a satin finish, a polished finish on the on the uh, the flats, and then these fluted pieces on the inside here are coated black. Uh, they looked blue in the picture, but um, it's also coated black on the inside. It's hard to get uh, get that on camera, but it's uh, kind of a I don't know. I don't know if it's anodization or what it is, but it's 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 got a little bit of texturing to it that 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 recess does. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, the inside of this, like where the inside of the titanium is, it's hard to tell. Also, but there are uh, there's jimping right here jimping right here and uh, on the bottom part right here this is uh, this is the blade here uh, it's s35 VN steel which you know is a fairly good steel I think as far as it goes um, uh, came to me it's it's sharp I'll call it a working edge because it's still sharp enough that it's gonna cut things but like it's not I mean, it's not going to whittle your hair off. The, the grind looks a little bit off on one side, actually. It's hard to tell, but it's like a little bit steeper on one side. You can tell just if you, if you stare at it like this, you can kind of you can kind of tell that it's like leaning off more to one side. But that, that might be more normal. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, one complaint I have about this knife, and it's, it's, it's my pet peeve about knives. When I buy something that's over... Forty dollars. I have I have like a Spyderco Tenacious and uh, you know Cold Steel um, Lawman and a couple other knives too that are that are cheaper. But like man, when they when they lock up, they are solid. Like they do not move in any direction. One thing I noticed about this knife is it has the ever so slight lock rock up and down. Uh, left and right is totally fine, but the up and down um, just just tiny little bit and I and I know I shouldn't mind that this is a stainless steel um, insert on this um, this lock face here so <clears throat> it might just be a matter of getting a new one um, I don't know this is a fairly new knife so I don't know um, as far as uh, what kind of services they'll 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 do for me um, I have yet to contact Kaiser about it I really want to though I want to say hey guys you know, if I'm going to spend over $100 in a knife, it better be fucking bank vault. Like, it better be solid as fuck, no flaws, and it better be ready to fucking cut the fuck out of everything. So I might send it in and uh, have them uh, sharpen it up for me or uh, and fix this, uh, the, the, the slight lock rock. Like, some people, it might not matter, like, but to me, for, I don't know, it's just a pet peeve of mine. Like, no other knife I have does that. And I feel like if, like I said, I've got I've got a tenacious and stuff like that, and those things are solid. Like if I'm gonna spend thirty dollars and have a solid knife, then I should spend a hundred dollars and have the dopest shit ever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, other than that, it's lightweight. Oh man, it, it, it's, it's the perfect size. Like honestly, like four fingers. Uh, you could choke up a little bit, although you know the, the the blade starts right there, so the relief is not really protecting your fingers at all so um, other than that pocket clips titanium and blue uh, it's got a over travel tab on the inside of there it's really cool it's like a, it's like built into the actual lock bar so you can't overextend it but um, looks out pretty good I think it's on bronze washers um, three inch blade I mean it's pretty rad. I like it. Uh, let my cigar go out. No worries. Um, 
but yeah so this is my first impression I carried it today um, the deep carry pocket clip has a lot of retention so it, it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall out of my pocket the only problem I have like I said is that up and down it's like so slight too like it just you really have to you really have to fucking crank on it but like I can still feel it and that kind of bothers me so be wary haven't heard really good or bad about Kaiser but to get to, to spend to spend over a hundred dollars and get it um, that kind of is kind of is a letdown for me because I really wanted this knife to be perfect you know what I mean like when I saw it like I just I fell in love with the shape it's almost like a Yojimbo but like I've seen you know similar custom knives kind of like this with those worn clips and fuck they're like six or seven hundred dollars this was a hundred and twenty dollars with uh, two day shipping so hopefully Kaiser um, I'm gonna message them today and, and ask them you know what they can do for me if, if in fact they can uh, I haven't taken it apart or anything like that they say that avoids the warranty although I find that kind of weird that a knife company sells you a knife and says hey if you take this knife apart then it's gonna avoid the warranty like what if I want to clean this? Like, what if I want to... I mean, seriously, like, is that really going to void the warranty? Like, you're going to send me a knife that I can't even take apart? Like, that's kind of weird. And how would you even know if I took it apart unless, like, I fucked it up and couldn't get it back together or something, which I don't think would be the case here. But, yeah. I had a size comparison, but uh, um, I, I left the knife back at my house because I was carrying this today, so... Uh, but yeah, super cool design, super comfortable, uh, awesome looking blade. Pretty thick stock too. I mean, it's not a thin little blade. It's 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 pretty red. But um, that's my rant. Up and down play. Don't like that. Just just barely. Side to side's fine. So Kaiser Rogue by Dirk Pinkerton. Cool little blade. Flicks out. Not the smoothest knife I've ever had, but it's pretty smooth. Like, it's smooth enough that it flicks out, and that's about all there is to it. So, there it is. Any uh, questions, comments down below, let me know. Because uh, I haven't had any personal experience with Kaiser, so I don't know what, what uh, what's going to happen as far as the um, service department goes. So, if you have any, uh, any tips or anything like that, maybe I can, I don't know, I don't think I can really fix it myself. And I don't really want to send it to get it pimped per se because everybody's list is forever long and they want so much money to do shit and it's like eh, I, ain't got, I ain't got the fucking time for that so there it is if you got any questions let me know thanks a lot y'all